to read with us one of our favorite little critter stories. The name of our story is Good for You and Me, and it is the final book in our Wildcat Wagon activity packs for the summer. We've got some vocabulary words that we've selected from this story, and let's talk about those before we read. Exercise is one of our vocabulary words, and exercise is an activity to keep your body and your mind strong. Vitamins, that's our second vocabulary word. Vitamins help our bodies grow and develop. Appetite is our third vocabulary word, and that is a desire to eat something. And then our final vocabulary word is healthy. We want everyone to be well and fit so that they can live a healthy lifestyle. Let's read about our favorite little critter in his story today, Good for You and Me. Our little critter books are written by Mercer Mayer. Today in school, we learned about what foods are good for us. I asked why carrots are better for us than cookies. Because carrots have vitamins to help you grow, Miss Kitty told me. Cookies just taste good. In gym, we did lots of exercises. First, we jumped rope. I jumped the fastest, but the rope was a little too long. We had a contest to see who could do the most sit-ups and push-ups. I won, almost. The next day, I made lunch for mom, dad, and little sister. Surprise, I said, because all of this food is good for you. Eat every bite. Look at those yummy vegetables. I see some fruits in there. What a healthy lunch. After lunch, I told my family I had another surprise, so I took them all on a bike ride. Come on, Dad, you can do it. And they are, and they're all wearing their bike helmets to be extra safe, and to protect their brain, because we have to take good care of our brains. The next day, when Tiger came over to play video games, I had a great idea. I called all of our friends to tell them. My friends and I played football all afternoon. I scored the touchdown that won the game. The next morning I walked to school instead of taking the bus. I had to hurry because walking takes longer. At lunch, I almost had a brownie for dessert, but I decided to have an apple instead. On the way home, we saw a big sign. Look, said Gabby, there's going to be a race in Critterville. Let's run in the race, I said, and everyone cheered. Gabby said we should do exercises to get ready for the race. But then I got hungry, so I stopped to have a snack. And look at that healthy snack. Tiger and Malcolm were hungry too, so I gave each of them a snack. Exercise gives you a big appetite. The next day we went swimming. I wore my snorkel and my flippers because they make me go faster. After that, we practiced running as fast as we could. I beat Tiger, but Gator beat me. Malcolm beat all three of us, but Gabby beat Malcolm. Gabby is really fast. The day of the race, we all took our places at the starting line. On your mark, get set, go, called the announcer. Then he blew his whistle. I got off to a fast start. I didn't win, but I ran the whole way without stopping. Doing stuff that's good for you just isn't healthy. It's a lot of fun, too. Don't forget, after you finish reading the story, you have four activities that are listed on your family guide for Good For You and Me by Marcia Mike. 
Again, come see us at the Mississippi Children's Museum Meridian. Have a great day.